don't want to give up your lifestyle luxuries when you're off camping and you want to be able to run through run your 240 volt appliances i'm andrew from accelerate auto electrics and i'm going to try and answer the question what size inverter do i need the size of inverter you need depends on two things what you want to run and how much battery you've got to run it here we've got two inverters fairly common ones in the market 350 watt small inverter and a semi big one a 2000 watt inverter to, for this little guy and I'm just using some examples here so that you can kind of get an idea of what you can do with what this little 350 watt inverter that will charge laptops it'll charge batteries it will also run some small fridges and things like that anything that doesn't move and doesn't make heat is generally a low current draw and you can get away with a smaller inverter a smaller inverter like that will happily be run by say one 120 amp hour battery and pretty much if all you want to do is charge laptops and things like that that's perfect when we step into a bigger inverter that's generally because we want to make heat or cool or or a lot of motion so if you want to run your microwave you want to run a heater one that we get asked a lot coffee machine so a coffee machine generally has heat because it wants to heat the water and motion because it wants to froth the milk so most coffee machines actually require quite a large inverter and a little guy like this won't do it. The heat and motion rule really is a good one to stick by to try and get an idea of what you need. I guess once we go past coffee machine, the next one is air conditioning. Air conditioning draws a lot. Even this 2000 watt inverter is really, really going to struggle with air conditioning and most of the systems we do would be two and a half thousand watt inverter and higher to run an air conditioning at a stable voltage for a long period of time. Once you move into those bigger inverters, obviously your battery banks are going bigger again and you know up to 600 amp lithiums would be what you would want to have behind one of these big two and a half, three thousand watt inverters. This comes at a much greater expense, but the other thing, it's expensive in amps. So to convert 12 volts to 240 volts, this will draw a lot of current. So if you want to run an inverter like this, or more to the point, you want to run a unit that requires an inverter like this, you'll need a fairly large battery bank, minimum 220 amp AGMs. And to be honest, bigger would be better. Whenever we get a question to ask, what size inverter do you need? The question that they get hit straight back with, with what do you want to run and how much do you want to spend on batteries and also how much room you got sometimes is a factor. We find the Red Arc ones quite good but there's many other brands on the market. I've just got these here to show you more as a size comparison and to give you an idea of the difference in them and what you can run with them. As you can tell there's lots of different inverters and lots of reasons why you would choose the different inverters. If you want us to help you answer the question, we need to know what you want to run, how long you want to run it for, and actually what time of day you want to run it. Once you can help us with these answers, we can advise you on what size battery bank and inverter you need. If you have these or any other questions, please feel free to give us a call on 1300 227 353 or send us an email at info at ama.net.au.